Hola amigos, we have a new culture pack from Humankind and I will be trying to answer the age old question of is this DLC worth it? This new DLC is the Cultures of Latin America and Amplitude has been hard at work trying to implement some new gameplay styles and changes and I want to talk about very quickly what the team got right and what they got wrong in terms of balancing but I think overall this is a very interesting choice and direction to take the series. So due to a wiki and reddit leak, we actually knew that there would be some culture of Mesoamerica themed pack, but we didn't know the exact contents and we received a surprise um, for the Summer Games Fest where they essentially revealed all of the new cultures and dropped it simultaneously on the same day. So I had the opportunity to stream Humankind on release day for the DLC, which is quite the fun experience in of itself because I had the chance to test all of these new cultures without any prior knowledge, uh, unlike some of the DLCs in the past with the cultures of Africa, which I will be comparing this DLC to that one quite a bit uh, because I think it's important since there are only two DLC packs to really uh, compare and contrast the positives and the negatives just in case you only have so much money you want to spend on humankind DLCs they are both around eight or nine dollars and for some people that can be quite a bit pricey so it's even more important to know which DLC uh, you want in advance and something that I really did enjoy about this DLC was the new units the Carolins have this really interesting play style that I don't think has been introduced uh, or at least emphasized in large part by the devs and that is the new healers unit so they actually heal and focus on a more defensive play style in terms of having your units um, more ready for different kinds of conflicts and also being able to kind of roam across your territory and reinforce your more offensive units which I really appreciate I think it adds a new dimension to humankind's combat. That said, I also think this DLC has some of the most inconsistent culture balancing of the two, like going from the Carolins to the Nazca was quite jarring because the Carolins had a very detailed, fleshed out playstyle. You knew they were a city builder in culture, whereas the Nazca had some very weird bonuses that weren't very specific on what exactly they did with the Nazca lines and how they interacted with different districts, and then their cultural ability felt very uninspired. So it's kind of a mixed bag, but I will say that this culture pack has some of the highest highs in humankind and also some of the lowest lows. I think though, in addition with the Bolivar update, which has really reworked how wars uh, really function in Humankind, I did find myself appreciating some of the new unit designs and unit choices, which is something that surprised me. You usually don't think too much about unit choices and designs and just a unit philosophy and how the does think about that in regards to combat, but this pack made me kind of appreciate that with the healers, with the headhunters, with all of the new different units and some of the luxuries too that the cultures introduced. It's added a more nuanced passive play style um, that you don't really appreciate up front but kind of as the game uh, wears on you just gain a new uh, fascination I think at least for me with the ways the cultures interacted and with how the gameplay experience was really thought out. I wouldn't say this culture pack is an immediate must buy kind of like with my general consensus with the cultures of Africa but I would say that if you enjoy new quirky cultures and if you enjoy kind of a ambitious gameplay experience I would strongly consider picking this pack up uh, with all of its little quirks and kind of its scratches and my nitpicks about it. I do think it delivers strongly on areas of gameplay and especially combat. So if you're kind of into that more hands-on approach towards humankind, then yes, this DLC is probably for you. As always, thank you again so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Otherwise, this has been 4 Extraordinaire. I love you guys and I hope to see you all later. All right, peace.